Hey, welcome to Hooked on Utah. You know, this week we're back in southern Utah with one of my good friends, Greg Gia Camaza, His Way Guide Service. We're on quail, and I have not fished quail, Greg, for quite a while. It's a unique time. It's a short window where we have the opportunity to really see some of the larger trophy fish that come up in two to four feet of water, and they're very, very available. Sit back, relax. Hopefully, cross your fingers, we're going to stick some really big pigs. Hooked on Utah is proudly presented by Sportsman's Warehouse, America's premier outfitter. Goal Zero, renewable electric power anywhere. The Ken Garf Ford Store in American Fork, 800 by Ford. Browning Firearms and Outdoor Gear, the best there is. Smith & Edwards, Utah's original adventure store since 1947. Kershaw Knife Technology, made in America. Catch the big ones, Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits. Right before you came here, I was cruising just behind these trees and I saw three toads just sitting there we probably ought to go try and, and latch on to. And as you said, we have a, a multitude of diversity available on the lake right now. We're able to catch fish, crankbaits, spinnerbaits, there's even a topwater. Uh, swim baits are always great here. What we'll probably be doing today and centering in on are these fish that are cruising up in. They're starting to declare territory. They become very territorial. They'll hit a lot of things. They get anywhere near them. They get very easily agitated. And this is the time of year, to be honest with you, you catch trophy bass, man. All of the items shown on this week's checklist can be found right here at Sportsman's Warehouse and online at sportsmanswarehouse.com. One of my choices for this week's adventure will be the Gary Yamamoto 5-inch Senko. I'm going to be using green pumpkin and watermelon. Springtime fishing, one of my other choices, always will be a spinnerbait. Big bass love big cranks. You can't go wrong with the DT-16. For rigging my Yamamoto Senko, I'm going to use a 4 aught or a 5 aught wide gap hook. An excellent choice for line is the Trilene Extra Tough. I like it in the green mono, 6 pound, 10 pound, or possibly 12 pound test. Having the right pair of polarized optics is a must for fishing. My choice is Habervision. Check them out on our website, hookedonutah.com. Click on the Habervision link and save 55% off the retail price. Throw a sink, I'll pitch a jig for a minute, change it up Got a little. It. Okay. We've, we've now burned a half a tank of gas. With fuel costs what they are today. That's him right there. I wonder if we're working two different fish. You gotta be. There's some big dogs. Oh, oh. She whirled right out at it and then spun right. around. We're gonna catch her. right on her bed. We've got some big bass in here in the shallows. Some are spawning, some are not. They're up on these beds. They're cruising. I've got a great big bass just working through these trees and I keep pitching in front of her with my Senko. And I'm pitching this uh, Texas rigged Senko and I'm just pitching it right into the cover. And, and uh, this is made by Yamamoto Baits, Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits. And that bait just flutters like this. I'm just letting it sink right down. She's trying to pick it up. She'll, uh, she's chased it a few times. If I can just get her to go, it's about a five or six pound bass. So I just gotta keep after her. And it's tough because it's in that thick cover. So trying to get it just right. She's guarding, guarding that bed right there. Right there, I got her located now. Perfect spot, Greg. Pull us forward a bit. Okay. Right there, stop, Greg. Oh, I broke off on her. Gosh darn it. Oh. I just set the hook and broke off on her. Big fish. Big fish. She had it in her mouth and broke off. I should have checked my line too. It's probably frayed and it feels frayed from going through the trees. Is she still there? That's a rookie mistake right there. Yeah, she's still there. Dang it. 